This is Dusty Jones with part one of a two-part figure at numbers presentation. Figure at numbers uh, are numbers that can be represented with a geometric arrangement of objects. Some examples you may or may not be familiar with are square numbers, uh, triangular numbers, and oblong numbers. Here are the first few square numbers. Uh, 1, 4, 9, and 16. And notice that these uh, circles are arranged in a square pattern. And here I'm using the sequence S sub n uh, to refer to the nth square number. So since 9 is the third square number, uh, I'm calling that S sub 3 equals 9. Here are the first few triangular numbers. 1, 3, 6, and 10. And these numbers here are represented as isosceles right triangles. Uh, triangular numbers also could be represented as uh, some sort of equilateral triangle as well, but still the same number of objects. And I'm using the sequence uh, T sub n to refer to the nth triangular number. So since 10 is the fourth triangular number, I'm calling that T sub 4. Here are the first few oblong numbers, 2, 6, 12, and 20. Uh, I'm using the sequence O sub n to refer to the nth oblong number. So since 6 is the second oblong number, I'm calling it O sub 2. A couple of exercises. I'd like you to find the next three numbers in each of the previous sequences. So find S5, S6, and S7, and the same for the triangular numbers, and the same for the oblong numbers. I'd also like for you to find the tenth and the fiftieth terms in those sequences. So find the tenth and fiftieth square number, the tenth and fiftieth triangular number, and the tenth and fiftieth oblong number. This would be a great place to pause. One way we can find these numbers is to use a formula. Uh, one type of formula is a recursive formula. A recursive formula uses previous terms to find the next term. So for example, here's a sequence uh, 3, 7, 11, and 15. And what you may notice as we go from one term to the next is we're adding 4 each time. So a recursive formula would say a sub 1 is 3, and a sub n the nth term would be a sub n minus 1, the previous term, plus 4. So what this is saying is start with 3, to find the next term, take the previous term and add 4. Another type of formula is called an explicit formula. These explicit formulas use the term number, uh, the subscript, it's also called the index, to find a particular term. So with this same sequence, 3, 7, 11, 15, an explicit formula for this would be a sub n is 4 times n minus 1. So a sub 3 is 4 times 3, 12, minus 1 to get 11. In other words, this says to find the nth term, we multiply the index by 4 and subtract 1. Recursive formulas and explicit formulas have benefits and drawbacks. Recursive formulas are handy if you can identify a pattern to get from one term to the next. Explicit formulas are nice when you want a particular term in the sequence without having to figure out everything that came before that term. My guess is that when you were finding the fifth, sixth, and seventh terms, you may have used a recursive formula. When you wanted to find the tenth or maybe the fiftieth term, an explicit formula would be your friend. Really, both types of formulas are useful in different situations. Next, what I'd like for you to do is find some formulas, recursive or explicit, uh, for the sequences of square numbers, triangular numbers, and oblong numbers. And I'd also like for you to discuss the relationships you notice among the formulas or the sequences. This is another great place to pause.
here are some patterns and relationships that I hope you notice in the figures, the pictures of the dots, and also in the numbers in a table.